week, David and Eileen picked a fabulous date in Antigua. But first, let's remind ourselves of the moment they met. <laughs> you chose this seat. Big moment has arrived. David, this is it. You chose number three. That was Eileen from Leeds. Come in, Eileen. It looks just like the postcards, doesn't it? Is it? Eileen. Oh. Hello. Pleased to meet you. David. Pleased to meet you. And Fantastic, you. yeah. Oh, Welcome to the Half Moon Bay Club, and I hope you enjoy your blind date in Antigua. It's paradise, oh, darling, isn't it? Can I offer you a... Thank you very much. Cocktail? Thank you. Lovely. Here's to a yeah, great day, eh? Up. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Wish to a better Thank place, you. either. David, do you fancy going for a swim? I'm not going for a swim, Eileen. Posers don't swim. It's <laughs> <laughs> you look like. You can go for a pound if you want to. You're in real thin. Why? I know we're on holiday, but I hope nobody here sees me with you. Ah, I want to go and look at that holiday, mate. You'll show me. Oh, my God. This is what you use on your hair. Do I? You know, I've, I've had my feet off, Paulson. I can't do with it. Oh, I'm going. I'm off the swim, whether you like it or not, right? Well, you go, then. I'll tell you what, I hope nobody sees me with you around here. Well, don't lose my hat, then, will you? You know what you can do with your hat? You can have your bloody hat. Pick it up your bottom. Oh, my God, what have I got here? Eileen, is, is this how you play it? Excuse me. I didn't what? know I had a date with an Aborigine. I am an Aborigine, not an Aborigine. How do you get it down there? Just get it's it down turn. there. I'll tell you what. What? What are you coming in your underwear for? There we are. I'm going to get in number 10 in a minute. Number 10? You think you're a Prime Minister? Number 10? I can't Come kiss on, you, because, you know... I don't want to kiss you. The food on the trays is never like this. This is wonderful. More than I would ever, ever wish for. I'm going to take my so glasses off for this one. Isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I don't get this every weekend. Eh? It really looks good. Tell you what, though, it's so romantic, isn't it? It wouldn't be so romantic if you weren't here. If I was here on my own, goodness me, this would be just another beach. You see the nicest thing, isn't it? I haven't seen anything like that. Do you know what that is? That, that used to be the English harbour. How oh, late you all this, David? I didn't know you had any education. Well, I know I went to school a long time ago. You did, but it was, uh, it was told that my ancestors used to be down there as well. I'd like to be down there, though. I'll tell you something, Eileen, this is absolutely gorgeous, you know. You're scared of swimming in that, aren't you? You're watching that bottom of that head. Oh, <laughs> oh, like, don't do that. No, I can't swim. Hey, hold on. If I, if, you know, if I had a yacht like this, I'd love to take you around the world, you know that? Oh, yeah? I'd be proud to show you off, yeah. And you could do all the cleaning for me as well. Oh, you can't come around to skimmy for you, you're moving good. You'd make a good deck end, I reckon. <laughs> Antigua, you couldn't have picked a better date to spend your first date. But what we want to know is, is there going to be a second? Shall we find out? <laughs> when I came on Blind Date, I was really hoping for a toy boy, but I got David. <laughs> when Eileen walked into my life, I thought, good grief. She's almost as old as that. 
when we were on the plane, David kept coming out with crude and vulgar remarks. He thought they were very funny, but I didn't think they were funny at all. To me, he's just a dirty old man. When Eileen and I first met, I made many innuendos towards Eileen because I did fancy her. The problem was is that uh, I was really finding out how she felt about me and uh, she thought I was a bit coarse and common. I think David was auditioning for the part of Mr Poser. I don't think he was on blind date because he was acting all the time and posing, you know. Well, I feel that, um, <laughs> that my best partner is somebody who's in awe of me, somebody who likes to be in my background and allow me to be the centre of attraction, you know? But Eileen never gave me a chance to do that. The only uh, attractive thing about David is um, the tattoo he's got on his bottom. <laughs> Would I like to kiss it? I don't think so. One of the things that I liked most about Eileen was her mouth, which was a shame, really, because I really never got to kiss it. I could kiss a crab, but I couldn't kiss David. <laughs> Eileen and I would always have a problem because I felt that she was grabbing my limelight. I mean, I like to be the centre of attraction, but I felt that with her, she was just taking it away from me. When David wasn't the centre of attention, he would storm off and have big tantrums. He was just like one big baby. <laughs> Throughout the date, romance was very rarely in the air. The only thing that I can remember in the air was Eileen's obnoxious perfume. I couldn't fall in love with David because I didn't find him one bit attractive. Um, I, honest to God, I really couldn't invite him anywhere because I would be embarrassed to be seen. With him. My personality and character cries out for love and affection and TLC. I would say to Eileen, if you really want to get to my heart, start making a fuss of me. The thing I would want David to do to make himself more attracted to me is walk into the sea. And I know he can't swim and never come back. Oh. <laughs> I think that's about covered every subject. Oh. Dear Eileen, how could you? <laughs> well, I know how you could. <laughs> I mean, that last remark, did, Eileen, wasn't that you're terrific. hurtful? You're terrific. That's exactly how I've portrayed you. Good. Yes, I know. You've done very well. In yes, but you, she wanted you to walk in the sea knowing you can't swim <laughs> and never come back. How do you feel I about that? I tried it several times, but I just he couldn't didn't. do it. You didn't. You too chicken. No, I didn't. He said, Mum won't recognise me so like the dentist will. <laughs> you change our David? <laughs> That's a leading question. I mean, You've just seen it all. How would no, no, I no, change I mean... David? I'd, I'd need a miracle. I don't think... I, I don't think anybody could change David. He loves himself so much, it is unreal. And I... he couldn't understand why I didn't like him. He oh, just... you don't even like him now? Well, I never did like him. He said... <laughs> The reason she doesn't like me is because I like myself enough for both of us. Precisely. Now, well, the point I'd like to say here also is that I have got uh, a part in her life up to now. Have I'm you? the oldest man that she's ever been out with. And it's going to be the last. <laughs> Stick to your toy boys, thank you. She said you were very childish. Well, in what way was he childish? Well, in every way, Silla. Like going to bed every night. I mean, let's face it, you're in the Caribbean. And really... It was so romantic, it was unreal. But he, no, I'm going to bed. I'm like a big baby, you know what I mean? And I, actually, I've got a three-year-old grandson, and I would get more sense out of him than well I would done. ever get out of David. But you did say... Well done. Hang on, no, you did say he had a fabulous tattoo, and the audience haven't seen it yet, and I think Do we should have... Do you want to see everybody? Oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Please, oh please, don't frighten the children out there. Oh, <laughs> no, we've got it on film. Let's have a look on film. Come on, hey, come I know, on. I know, I meant to tell you. You haven't seen this, have you? Look at that. What is it, David? Uh, what is it? It's, what is it? Oh, with a pair of lips kissing it. That's right. Well, you can well, kiss it then. Yeah, no, thank you. Okay then. <laughs> kiss it at that point. <laughs> Well, we have I think to we're on the wrong show here, isn't it? We should no, be on the other no, show. No, 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 I thought it was quite nice. But we have to finish. You said your grandson had more. 
well, I'm saying intelligence that, than he has. He has, and, and he's only three years old. You've got a special present for him, have you? I have for David. I brought you along a present today, David. That's awfully nice. We've got a present for you too. Oh, have you? Okay, Unfortunately, then. I left it in my room. <laughs> well, actually, this. <laughs> Big enough for you. I could do right. I know how to do that. Right. And oh, actually, you're going to see each other this again. one would <laughs> suit him down to the ground. Thank you both so very down much the ground. for coming it's back good. on Blind Date. <laughs> and please, have we got a couple of bouncers so they don't kill each other when they get off the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David and Eileen. Oh, look at that. Thank you, David. Thank you. I'm afraid, but we will be back next week to see how Alistair and Valerie and Kimberly and Costas enjoyed their dates together. So until then, it's Tara for now. Tara then! <laughs>